Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about priming an electric fuel pump. If you have a problem with an electric fuel pump, getting primed. As you can see behind me, I have Big Red. I just replaced a fuel line that was leaking. And let me show you that real quick. We'll get to this pretty quick, so just hang on with me. Got a line here that was leaking from the tank to the fuel, uh, fuel pump. And I went ahead and I've got it fixed already. I have a piece of fuel line here, braided. I replaced it with braided line, so this uh, chop shop rig that I must have done about eight years ago, getting rid of it. And once I put the line in, well, let's go ahead and talk about my fuel pump. So here's an example of the fuel pump that I have on here. This is a Mr. Gasket unit, and this is just an extra that I have. But the problem is that this is being used as suction feed because this was a mechanical fuel pump truck, switched over to electric fuel pump. So the feed line goes up and into the top of the tank and those pumps aren't really made to pull that much fuel. They're supposed to be like gravity fed. So whenever the truck sits too long or like I did this fuel line, it just won't pull the fuel from the fuel tank. So let me show you what I do up here. So right now, let me go ahead and show you that we don't have any fuel pressure. I'm gonna turn the key on. here we only have 11 volts because of the, uh, the keys on but no fuel pressure all right so with the key off and nothing drawing we still have 12.1 volts which is a little low but that battery's pretty old, so 5 of 16. All right, so as you can see, with 12 volts, that pump will not pick up fuel. And if it's primed, it's fine. But to get that thing primed, here I have an 18-volt battery. Now, we're going to talk about safety here in a minute, and will it harm the pump, okay? But just go with this for, for a minute with me. So here I have an 18-volt battery. I have a jump wire to the negative side. I'm gonna ground it to the chassis and then use the positive to feed my fuel pump. So let's go ahead and do that and I'll see if we can get some fuel pressure. Okay, so I have the power wire to my fuel pump here. As you can see, this is the, the key on power. I have my drill battery hooked to the ground and I'm gonna power it up and you should be able to see fuel pressure go as soon as it picks it up. You hear it now already got fuel see nine pounds that's because it's got too much voltage so quick look here now we have plenty of fuel pressure i'm going to go ahead and plug back in the power wire back like it's supposed to be and we should be good to go Okay, now the big question, is it safe for your electric fuel pump to do this? Let me tell you what I think. So when the vehicle's running, you're charging at 14 volts. I'm using an 18 volt battery. So if you wanna use a 14 volt, I don't have one. If you wanna use a 14 volt, you probably can do the same thing. And then you know it's not gonna hurt it. I use the 18 cause it's what I have. But I don't think that giving it four volts is gonna hurt it. And another reason I say that is there's this company, Fuel Max. Okay, that is a fuel pump voltage booster. So what that product does is for the guys that have Hellcats and stuff like that, they need more fuel whenever they're getting to certain horsepower levels. 
Well, instead of buying a new set of fuel pumps, which is thousands of dollars, you can buy that fuel pump voltage booster, and I think they give it 18 volts. I can't, it doesn't say on the, uh, on that particular website, but I think they give them 18 volts, and that's all the time. So that gives those guys more fuel because they're pumping those fuel pumps harder and they don't have to spend the extra money on fuel fuel pumps until they get to a certain another level but anyway that's just a way to save money on hellcats and stuff like that for for fueling issues but anyway so with that being said i'm gonna say it doesn't hurt a thing but i'm also using a 40 dollars fuel pump and i'm not scared to try it so anyways that's uh that's gonna do it for today guys just wanted to show you that little trick maybe it helps you maybe it doesn't because what i was doing before i figured this out i was pulling fuel lines and hitting hitting it with a vacuum pump and it was just a pain this is way easier and it works for me so um another reason i have to do this in the summertime the fuel just dries out of the fuel bowls if you let it set for two weeks so if i let it set for two weeks then i have to do this but anyways all right, guys. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.